the whole space system. And I think this kind of damage to the illusion will probably uh, go away. But the fact that we have to worry about And that means that the next four years we will yeah. confront Russia. In what way? I think they will, uh, will not engage in their people like, uh, like Obama tried to do. They will have a wait and see attitude and they will uh, probably continue a sanctions policy uh, in reaction to Backwards surging by almost 10,000 in 24 hours. Reported new infections all just at fresh highs almost a year after the disease first emerged. Pick us off 9.30 a.m. across the Emirates. This is the most daybreak Middle East. Well, welcome to the show. I'm Manus Cranny in Dubai. The oil market surged by the most in a month. That was yesterday. Swept up in the broader market daily rally. Uh, tightly contested U.S. election. That continues suggesting that the new administration should be restrained on policy. Christoph Roof is a senior research scholar at Harvard University. He has left just... Come on, can you hear me? I can, yes. Great. Um, let's just continue the conversation. You know what, Simone? I'll return to you just very, very shortly. Uh, we'll come back on size and scope. Let me bring you some live pictures now. In this is live shots from Arizona, Maricopa, in Arizona. We've got a, a variety of uh, people taking to the streets. These uh, we understand uh, at the moment are Trump supporters uh, who are converging on both centers, and um, it is in, as I say in Maricopa in Arizona. Now, Arizona is, is a democratic suburb, uh, I should say, of a democratic uh, state. 11 electoral votes, the ongoing counting, the ongoing counting continues. Um, we're live to a whole variety of the counting centers uh, throughout the night. We will return to the count and the pathway to the White House here on Bloomberg. How will business day begin? Often depends on what happens overnight. Bloomberg Daybreak Europe. I'm Caroline Hepkins. I'm Roger Hearing. The latest on the US election. A rate decision for the Fed and the Bank of England. The Ayatollah Ali Khamenei uh, tweeted last night that the Fed will continue to raise interest rates until the end of the year. Well, that is the latest
some of the biggest moves on election day surge uh, across the market with victory uh, just within sight for Joe Biden. The discussion is around corporate tax cuts. They seem now unlikely with a divided government. Syed Abakash is the executive officer, senior executive officer at our capital. Syed, how are you doing? Um, we had my last guest in the last hour who said we are seeing the genesis of chaos and the foothills of hyperbolic language. So we're moving to contested elections. Are risk markets too effusive on a contested election scenario at the moment? So, Matt, I think at this point in time, what we're actually waiting for is to see if the legal claims of Mr. Trump will actually take hold. And in essence, I think uh, the market is, is pricing in a Biden victory at this point in time, but they're not actually going to full blown out this gone at this stage until we have some clarity regarding these claims. If the claims for contested elections, as in uh, mail voter fraud or any case of uh, temporary with the ballots, I think that the story changes quite dramatically at that stage in time in terms of risk market. But if we simply having the same old rhetoric that this is the system that was aided before the election by the Trump campaign is just receiving a fraudulent election, then I think the market will put it aside to continue with the macro story that's been in play for the past few months. Okay, well, let's run with that, that the legal wing perhaps eclipsed. Um, we run with a Biden, a Biden in the White House. They don't get the Senate. Um, when you look at that scenario, what worries you most? Is it the, the skinniness of any fiscal proposition? Because my last guess in the last...